Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I have six photos from It's a Small World in Disneyland that I'm going to be scrapbooking today. It is still 30 days of sketches, and this one is created by uh, Kirsten Hughes. It is a two-page sketch, and surprise, surprise, I am doing both sides of it today. So let's see what I can do. Guys, so I am starting out with two sheets of white cardstock. And the reason why I'm starting out with two sheets of white cardstock so much on these double page sketches when I'm actually doing a double page is because I don't have two sheets of pattern cardstock. Back in the day when I um, scrapbooked, you know, years ago, I used to buy two sheets. If I liked a paper, I would buy two sheets of it. Um, and that was because I did a lot of double pages, or I thought I was going to do a lot of double pages. Um, I wanted that, that just in case I was going to do a double page. Well, I've moved on from that line of thinking and I buy a sheet of paper, um, unless I really love it and then I'll buy two. Um, and if I really love both sides, I might even buy three. Um, or it could be a paper that I want to add to my basics collections that I will buy over and over and over again, um, which is mostly uh, papers from paper house production, or if there's like a wood grain paper, it doesn't matter. I might just buy a couple sheets of it because I enjoy wood grains, right? Like that kind of thing. But my philosophy on just buying pattern paper has definitely changed. So a lot of these layouts are starting off with white cardstock or a colored cardstock. Um, cause I've done that, uh, too, just to use up some of the cardstock. It is crazy, um, how much less paper I have, right? Like how, how much less there is. It's, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty amazing. <laughs> so anyway, I am, um, using a variety of papers. I've got these weed papers and by weed, I mean dandelions because dandelions are weeds. Um, and I remember, I remember talking about the weed paper with, with someone, but I don't remember who it was. And they were like, wow, scrapbookings into drugs. And I'm like, what? No, it's weeds, dandelions, you know, the blow them off and spread more weeds. Ah, <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. So, um, like I said, I have changed my mind about these photos. This was supposed to be a faux pocket page, um, which would have been great. I just would have slapped those photos on the page, maybe did a little decorating on top of it and would have been done. Um, but I really do like the fact that, um, I've spread this out over a two page layout. Um, I just enjoy that too, right? I like this a lot. Um, so I'm using the dandelion paper. I've got um, this authentique paper, and then I've got a couple of other papers. The dandelion paper is Chamel. Uh, I don't remember where this neon, almost neon green stripe is from, um, but this floral paper over to my left is a Vicky Booten paper. Um, and I'm going to fussy cut those flowers. Um, don't worry your pretty little heads off though. I am not going to make you watch me fussy cut all of the flowers. Now I am a fan personally of watching embossing on scrapbooking videos. Love it. Want to see the process. Want to see you do it all. Want to see the stamping. Want to see the embossing. Want to see the shaking off the excess. Want to see the heat making it all magically smooth and melty. Want to see it. Fussy cutting. I don't want to see all of it. Show me a little bit to just show me that that's what you're going to do and then move on. Um, cause fussy cutting can take a long freaking time people and ain't nobody got time to watch somebody just open and close the blades of their scissors over and over and over again. Nobody's got time for that. And if you do have time for that, please let me know how you have time for that. <laughs> um, I know that we all make time for what we deem a priority, right? Um, I deem scrapbooking a priority, so I make time for it. But what does that mean otherwise, right? That means other things are not a priority and I don't make time for it. Um, I don't watch a lot of TV. 
I don't um, do a lot of other hobbies. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and it is known in my house that if I don't do a video, then at night I'm going to go to the scrapbook room and scrapbook and do a video. That's just the way it is. So I say all of that to just show you that I'm going to cut a couple flowers. Now I am also going to cut florals off of this paper that are not fully intact. So as you can see, this one is a half a flower. I'm gonna cut some of those out. I'm gonna cut full flowers out. Um, and I'm just gonna cut and place them down on the paper until I get to the point where I like what it looks like. I'm at this point, I'm kind of like, okay, the sketch does have decorative bits um, in it and I like it and I'm just going to make decorative bits on the page until I'm happy with it. So that's what I did. Um, I've got some of the florals uh, on top of layers. I got some of the florals tucked underneath of layers. Uh, and then I'm going to bring in some of these little um, paper flowers. So these I picked up at Hobby Lobby. When I get back from retreat, um, I've got some very similar, similar flowers. Wow, I can't even speak right now. Um, similar flowers um, that will go into the shop. I wanted to get them loaded before I left for retreat and that did not happen. Um, and for the handful of you <laughs> guys that post it, that post it, that placed orders last night um, as I was packing, <laughs> they're not going to be um, shipped until Monday because I get back on Sunday. Um, so there is that. Um, now these flor florals are not adhesed, so I've got to use my liquid glue, which is my favorite liquid glue, which is Nouveau Deluxe. It is the only liquid glue that I have purchased over and over again. Um, I've done other liquid glues in the past, and I'm just like, nah, nah, not feeling it. Um, and then I'm looking into my never ending kit, which has a lot of little pieces of, um, sticker sheets and all that left over and they're combined into one. And I had see the world, um, still on there as a sticker. And I don't know if that was from a Paige Evans or a Maggie Holmes travel collection. It's one of them. Okay. Um, and then I just decided that I was going to add in a world, a world, a word in between uh, the and world. So it's going to say, see the small world, um, because these are all moments in It's a Small World. And these are all Disney characters in the appropriate section of It's a Small World, right? Like, we got... Lilo and Stitch hanging out with the hula dancers. Uh, we got the three caballeros in Mexico. Um, it's just appropriate, right? And those are not in Disney World. It's a small world. So it was important for me to get the photos of the Disney characters in their appropriate area <laughs> here in Disneyland. So I went ahead and did that. Um, I also decided to bring in a base to put my title on um, because the black letters right here, you could totally see over top of the florals. Like you could, the weeds, they're not florals, let's be real. Um, you could totally see that over top of the weeds. But these, um, these skinnier blue puffy stickers, you couldn't really, you couldn't really see. It was... Um, it was hard to make out what the word was. Um, so I am going to poke through um, because some of the little insides of the letters are still there and you know that that's frustrating. So I'm gonna go ahead and poke those through and then get my title down on this page. And then that is gonna do it for this layout, you guys. Um, I really liked this uh, double page sketch uh, because it wasn't symmetrical. Now I love me a good symmetrical double page sketch, but this one made me happy. And that A in small is an upside down V. So it is what it is. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys again real soon for another video.